Congratulations on winning the Arizona Press Club 2013 Brick Wall Award. The Arpaio First Amendment Disservice Award, also known as the Brick Wall, honors officials and government agencies that do their utmost to ignore public records requests and open meeting laws, hide or destroy public documents and place themselves above the public's constitutional right to know about their government. This year's recipient is the Apache County Board of Supervisors. The board eliminated its call to the public from its meeting agendas because of criticism from residents. I don't like being criticized in public and to have people come here and say, we are doing this or doing that is not okay, said Supervisor Joe Shirley Jr. Supervisor Barry Weller twi tried twice to restore the call to the public but couldn't get a second on his motion either time. The board also reject ejected a resident who tried to live stream a board meeting Tonight, public records requests refused to email public records and charge fees to review public records, regardless of whether copies were requested. Now, I'm assuming this government must be enjoying the negative publicity generated by the award, since County Manager Wenger has now decided to cut off public access to Wi-Fi connection in this building, even though it's actually funded with taxpayer dollars. Furthermore, fulfillment of public records requests have now been elevated to a privilege reserved for provision at the discretion of the Apache County Records Manager, rather than as required by state statute, which would be upon request during regular business hours after the records have been collected. Personally, I think you're doing an excellent job of providing a proven pattern of unlawful activity that will eventually result in some sort of legal action on the part of a state or federal agency. I strongly urge you to continue abusing your authority and imposing regressive and discriminatory policies until you finally succeed in having yourselves removed from office. The fact that Apache County now faces almost a million dollars in budget shortfall is not that surprising to those who've observed the reluctance of the county manager and several of the supervisors to exhibit any sort of fiscal responsibility regarding the creation of contingency funds. Therefore, it's really just a matter of time until the revolving credit lines extended to multiple struggling school systems, along with that debt due in 2017 and the crumbling statewide reputation of this government all finally managed to succeed in utterly destroying our bond rating. Thank you and congratulations on a job well done. Okay, uh, next, Chief. <coughs> Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Good morning. Good morning. I just wanted to give everyone a brief update on the two fires that have been affecting our county. First, the Asai fire, the Asai Lake fire, sorry, on the Navajo Reservation, which is in the state of New Mexico, but did impact uh, our county as the incident management team, the organization to organize the firefighting effort was in uh, Fort Defiance. Uh, the Asai Lake fire, is currently at 14,712 acres and 98% containment. Uh, it looks very good as far as being uh, complete very soon. They will be transferring it to a local uh, firefighting group to monitor until the moisture comes with the monsoons, which will then uh, extinguish the fire completely. Uh, with that, the current San Juan fire uh, southeast of Vernon is at 6,796 acres, 5% containment. It is a human caused fire, full, su uh, full suppression strategy, and there's a type 2 incident management team organizing the firefighting efforts on the ground. Uh, currently, Apache County has uh, Approximately 25 residents that were evacuated from the head of the fire early on. Those residents were, that were evacuated did not require sheltering as they were at secondary residences. And all are reported to be doing fine. I have contact with, with uh, several of those each day. 
Of that evacuated area, there are 96 uh, structures, which are residences and other structures in the area that's evacuated. Uh, we, I have been working with the incident management team, and we're looking to get those areas opened up as soon as possible. Uh, we will see how the burnout operations go, uh, finish up today, and currently uh, there are 683 firefighting personnel on the fire. Uh, the I go over to the map and show and show, but I I want Supervisor Shirley to be able to hear. Uh, the maps are available on the Apache County website. Will be updated regularly and on the 311 uh, info.net website. So there are plenty of ways that you can pull up a map and look at it. If you look at the west side of the fire, you see a darker line that kind of encompasses that uh, red push out there to the west. That darker line will be the final containment line on the fire. There will be a, a, a little bit of additional acreage increase as they get the burnout done next to those lines. With that said, the estimated final acreage should be somewhere in the vicinity of 7,000. So looking at around another 200 acres to finish cleaning that up and have it secure. The issue is going to be today there are uh, dry lightning possibilities with some of the thunderstorms build up. Uh, there's not enough moisture that they're not predicting any wetting rain, but there will be the, the storms, and with those dry lightning and thunderstorms, you can have outdraft wind, downdraft wind. That's what happened one year ago yesterday on the Yarnell Hill fire, uh, which claimed the lives of 19 firefighters. So it's a very cautiously optimistic group over there on this fire today. And if we can get through these next couple of days, they feel very confident that they'll have a have good line around everything that will withstand any any of these storms. Also, for information, uh, we've been working with the forest, and uh, we are getting contractors back in to keep uh, removing logs that are decked and doing the work that they're supposed to be doing in there. They are on what is called hoot owl. They work from 4:30 in the morning till 10 o'clock in the morning, and then they monitor the area for an hour, and then they're uh, required to be out of the area. Uh, we also started yesterday with the county engineer, uh, Farron Crosby, uh, looking at maps and trying to get an idea of the burn area so that we can start to predict and prepare for the rains to come and for potential flooding issues in the uh, burning area. So. With that, I can answer any questions if anybody has any. Any questions? Um, just a comment, Mr. Chairman. Sure. Mr. Wally? Yeah, I, I just want to recognize uh, Chief Deputy Eager. Uh, uh, two fires on top of each other. I you know, I personally, personally witnessed the amount of time and uh, efforts he's uh, put into the one down here in uh, District 3, and I'm sure they were just as uh, intense up in the Asahi fire. Uh, there's a lot of issues associated with these fires and the coordination and support that you provide for the county is uh, recognized and is appreciated by me, so I appreciate it and want to let you know that. Thank you, sir. I'd also like to thank uh, Chief Eager, you know, for spending a lot of time up north at the Asaya fire, you know, that's going around to the uh, briefings, you know, that were held there, you know, that kind of gave me a lot of info as to what was happening. It was amazing the amount of uh, firefighters that were there. I think it was over 800 at one time. Of course, this morning, you know, most of the firefighters left left camp at the uh, Fort Fields field house. But uh, I do want to thank you, you know, for taking the time to take us up to the actual fire, you know. And, you know, it wasn't as bad as a lot of people made it sound because you know when you when you when the fires when people talk fire you know you think everything is burning but when you actually go up there you know there's, there's spot fires I guess you would call it and when I got down it was you know really sure and, you know because there was people up there firefighters were there and you know livestock were out there 